They're home to North Carolina's most dangerous criminals. Now families and even officials are telling Channel 9 more needs to be done to protect the people who work inside prison walls. In the past 10 months, five prison workers have died at the hands of inmates. And just this week, seven were involved in altercations involving inmates. I got exclusive access inside one prison to see new security changes, which unfortunately come too late for some families. You could tell that just from her smile on her face that she was special. Jasmine Herring has wonderful memories and many pictures of her mom, Veronica Darden. Family and friends called her Ronnie. She was my heart. She was everything to me. Herring's heart is broken. Her mother died in October when four inmates armed with scissors and hammers set fire inside the sewing plant at Pasquotank Correctional Institution in Elizabeth City, attacking prison employees in an attempt to escape. Darden was the sewing plant manager. Did not know what a pair of scissors could do. Three other Pasquotank employees also died. Six months earlier, an inmate beat corrections officer Sergeant Megan Callahan to death inside Birdie Correctional Institution in Windsor. Do you think state officials did enough to protect your mom? Definitely not. This report by the National Institute of Corrections identified serious issues inside Pasquotank, including a staff shortage of 25 percent, an absence of personal safety equipment and training, and no one monitoring sewing plant security cameras. But officials say they are making changes at all North Carolina prisons. Director of Prisons Kenneth Lassiter gave me exclusive access inside Lanesboro Correctional in Anson County, where officers now pat and frisk every visitor and employee. Checks used to be random. Everyone must also remove coats, belts, and shoes and go through metal detectors. Lassiter showed me efforts to control inmate movements. No two doors open at the same time, which helps isolate inmates. 53 of the state's 55 prisons now have these cell sense towers. If anyone, especially inmates, has metal or a cell phone on them, an alarm will go off. One critical need that has not been resolved, North Carolina's prisons need more corrections officers. We actually lose as many as we bring in a month. Are employees afraid to come to work? They are concerned for their safety, and they should be. The state is working to provide officers with safety tools like pepper spray and tasers, ramping up recruiting and working to increase pay. Lassiter says they're increasing security outside prison walls too. Contraband tossed over these fences is a growing problem. So now we're looking at another plan to actually move the fencing up because now they're coming on the backside through the woods and throwing it over the fence. So Lassiter hopes the changes out. make prisons more secure across the state. But for Jasmine Herring still grieving her mother's death, those changes come too late. I would do anything, anything to see her, anything to just be able to hug her again. State officials permanently shut down the sewing plant at Pasquotank. The metal shop at Lanesboro was temporarily closed while officials reviewed which inmates should not work there. The state plans to order stab resistant shirts for thousands of employees, provide personal body alarms and upgrade video cameras. WSOCTV.com has more video of my tour of Lanesboro. Look inside the report on the homepage.